virtues of our God and King. Lift up your voice and with us sing. Alleluia, Alleluia. O burning sun with golden beam and silver moon with softer gleam. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today the church remembers Saint Scholastica. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins. You came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we celebrate anew the memorial of the Virgin Saint Scholastica, we pray, O Lord, that following her example, we may serve you with pure love and happily receive what comes from loving you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. At the time when the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, while as yet there was no field shrub on earth, and no grass on the field had sprouted, for the Lord God had sent no rain upon the earth, and there was no man to till the soil, but a stream was welling up out of the earth, and was watering all the surface of the ground. The Lord God formed man out of the clay of the ground and blew into his nostrils the breath of life, and so man became a living being. Then the Lord God planted a garden in Eden in the east, and he placed there the man whom he had formed. Out of the ground the Lord God made various trees grow that were delightful to look at and good for food, with a tree of life in the middle of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The Lord God then took the man and settled him in the garden of Eden to cultivate and care for it. The Lord God gave man this order you are free to eat from any of the trees of the garden, except the tree of knowledge of good and evil. From that tree you shall not eat. The moment you eat from it, you are surely doomed to die. The Word of the Lord. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory, robed in light as with a cloak. O bless the Lord, my soul. All creatures look to you to give them food in due time. When you give it to them, they gather it. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. 
O、oh, bless the Lord, my soul. If you take away their breath, they perish, and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. O、oh, bless the Lord, my soul. From the Holy Gospel according to Mark, Jesus summoned the crowd again and said to them, "Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters from outside can defile that person, but the things that come from within are what defile." When he got home, away from the crowd, his disciples questioned him about the parable. He said to them, "Are even you likewise without understanding? Do you not realize that everything that goes into a person from outside cannot defile, since it enters not the heart, but the stomach, and passes out into the latrine?" Thus he declared all foods clean. But what comes out of the man, that is what defiles him. From within the man, from his heart, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance. Folly. All these evils come from within, and they defile. The gospel of the Lord. A few years back, I was speaking with a friend. Was talking with me about a challenging relationship in his life. He said he spoke to his wife about this person that they both found challenging, and he said to his wife, "He's mean." His wife said, "He's hurting," and he thought his wife was correcting him, saying that he wasn't mean. I said to him, "I don't think your wife's correcting you. I think she's explaining what you see. He's mean, yes." But he is hurting. Often, what we see on the outside is a reflection of the condition of our hearts 
on the inside. And the meanness, or whatever it is we're seeing on the outside, is the result of some condition of the heart. some unhealed pain, some unresolved conflict, some untreated offense that wounded us. And out of that condition of the heart flows what we say and what we do. Jesus in this gospel is talking about heart health. About that spiritual core inside each of us that results in much sinning, especially relational sinning, but not just relational sinning, sometimes solitary sinning too. And we're trying to treat the symptoms without getting to the roots of what ails us, something awry in the heart, my friends. May our Lord Jesus Christ, through the grace of the Holy Spirit, help us to look a little deeper. Not simply at the wrong thing I said and the unkind thing I did, though don't neglect that. But what is it in my heart that is unresolved, that is leading me to behave the way I behave and to say the things that I say. The blood of Jesus Christ is medicine for this. The Holy Spirit of our Lord Jesus Christ is the physician for this. And I should warn you, sometimes it's a little frightening to look deeper. Or as a friend said to me recently, to go deeper. And so I think this is often why we stay so superficial. Because sometimes to really take a look in there can be frightening. And here I would encourage you in the words of a song that a friend wrote. He says, the song is sung to the Lord. He says, there are places in my heart that I can't go without your love. And so, dear friends, take hold of that love of God for you. holding tight to the hands of our Lord Jesus Christ and allow him to lead you on that journey to a healthy heart that begins with the courage to look within at what it is that Jesus wants to purify by his blood and heal by his Holy Spirit. Our Father awaits us, my friends, and so we come to him now with our prayer.
We pray for the Church, for Bishop Gruss, Father Tipton, and our bishops, priests, and deacons. We pray in a special way for the needs of our diocese and for all those discerning their vocation to the priesthood or religious life, that they may have courage and follow the Lord's call in faith. We pray to the Lord. For all married couples, that in imitation of Christ, the bridegroom, they may love and honor their spouse through a total offering of their lives for the, for the other. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our government leaders throughout the world that they may find ways to work together peacefully, promote the common good, and protect the dignity of every human person. We pray to the Lord. For all those who are suffering from the effects of this pandemic in any way, and for those who are sick and hospitalized, we pray for those who feel lonely and those who feel unsupported, that they may find help and strength in Christ. We pray to the Lord. We pray for each of us present here at this holy sacrifice of this Mass and those joining us via live stream, that we may grow daily more and more in purity of heart, in love and faith, to the example of Saint Scholastica. We pray to the Lord. For all those who have died and those who will die today, that our merciful Jesus may lead all the faithful departed to paradise. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we lift up our eyes to you with expectant faith, welcoming the ways that you take care of us, your sons and daughters. For we offer our prayer through Christ, our Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father.
We bring the offerings of our devotion to be consecrated by you, O Lord, in commemoration of blessed Scholastica. For by the consolation you give us in this life, you show that we should not lose hope of what is promised for eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. And may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof.
Let us pray. Renewed, O Lord, at the wellsprings of salvation, we humbly entreat you that through the intercession of blessed Scholastica, holding more closely day by day to Christ, we may merit to be co-heirs in his kingdom of grace, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.